Welcome everyone to this launch of the uh, public service announcement on behalf of the California Grand Jurors Association. I'd like to thank all of you for being here today and uh, being in the presence of such uh, political gravitas reminds me of a, a story of a good friend of mine told me about meeting President George H.W. Bush. He was uh, in Washington meeting with uh, Wilbur D. Mills from Arkansas at the time the, uh, Mr. Mills was the uh, chair of the House Ways and Means Committee, probably one of the most powerful uh, and influential people in Washington. And upon being introduced to the president, my friend was struck speechless. He just was stammering and stuttering, at which point the president put his hand on his shoulder and said, it's okay, Dan. I always get nervous around Mr. Mills, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, nerves aside, I, I, uh, it's a special honor for me to be here today. And I'd like to introduce our special guest, of course, uh, Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Also uh, representing uh, State Senator Mark Leno's office, we have Anna Damiani. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Paul will return momentarily, I'm sure. Uh, so. And uh, this, uh, that's Paul Henderson representing Mayor Ed Lee's office. <laughs> and uh, to my right, uh, I have uh, Beata Boltinghouse, our uh, uh, State Association Vice President and I'm sure she has other accolades, uh, past president of the San Francisco chapter. Uh, we have uh, uh, lots of our uh, membership here, uh, including a couple of uh, board members, uh, Gary Greenberg from Fresno. Um, chapter president Morad. Yeah, chapter president, uh, Carmen Morad is here. Hi, Carmen. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have two representatives from San Mateo County, Barbara Arietta and Mike Miller front row people. Um, at this time, I'd like to uh, uh, say a few words about the California Grand Jurors Association. It's an all-volunteer group, uh, 501c3, that is dedicated to promoting uh, the uh, participation in the grand jury system, both as uh, applicants to be grand jurors, but also to build public awareness uh, so that we have consumers of the grand jury's product, that is the reports. Uh, at this point, I'd like to turn over to Beata for some local introductions. Thank you. Thank you, Keith. Welcome, everybody. I'm really glad to see so many friendly faces. Um, I have been the president of the chapter in San Francisco now for three and a half years, and um, I'm really proud of our board, who has done so much great work um, it, and if I, when I call your name, if you could just stand and say hi. Leslie Kelch is the vice president, and she has been very instrumental in um, publishing the Gazette, which I, I believe that you have picked up, hopefully, and if you haven't, um, on the side table and over here by the entrance, there are copies for you to see. And the Gazette um, uh, summarizes the previous jury's work as well as explains what the jury is all about and how you can apply to be a juror. Um, and this is our fourth issue. So thank you, Leslie, for all your hard work. Julia Hansen is secretary, and she's my, my right arm, my left arm. My, she, she's there for me for whenever I need anything, and I really appreciate you know, all the work that you've done also to keep the chapter together and um, make us a, a viable entity. Uh, Ken Maley. In the back there, he's our media chair and was instrumental in um, working with Lieutenant Governor in making this uh, public service announcement, which I'm um, really proud to say I think will do a, give a real shot in the arm to the, the uh, association as well as to jurors and the jury in general going forward. Um, Karen Cancino uh, was very instrumental in the distribution of our Gazette, we're putting the Gazette, not, it was inserted in the Examiner um, this past, no, Sunday two weeks ago, uh, 130,000 copies distributed around the city, um, so that it hopefully fell in the hands of 130,000 people. And we're also distributing in, in all the libraries around the city, uh, along with speaking engagements to talk about the civil grand jury. 
Um, so that's been an excellent outreach uh, uh, item for us. We also have Hal Smith, who is on the board, Elise Phillips, and our current four person, Martha Mangold. You could say, do, would you like to say anything about your service? Well, I, I'm very grateful, one, to be selected, uh, two, to have an incredible group of jurors to work with, representative of all aspects of San Francisco communities and uh, educational backgrounds. And it's been incredible to view what the city has to offer in this really intimate way. And we look forward to carrying on a rich tradition, uh, following up with past reports, doing past juries proud, and um, we look forward to putting out some good reports. Thank yeah. you. Thanks. Thank you. We also have, um, and I'm not going to call you out because um, I don't want anybody to zoom in on you. We have several um, current jurors here and uh, a number of former jurors here also. As Keith said, the uh, Civil Grand, the California Grand Jurors Association is comprised of all former jurors uh, that are volunteers. And at the chapter level here, we uh, are very much involved with the courts in um, recruiting and publicizing what the grand jury is all about. Most people you talk to don't know what the civil grand jury is. They think criminal grand jury, you know, Barry Bonds, uh, but they don't know what the civil grand jury is about. And we're trying to get the word out because not only do we want people to serve on the grand jury, but I think it's important for people to know what the grand jury is all about. We are the watchdog of the citizens. And this is our chance to participate in democracy, um, to investigate how our taxpayer dollars are being spent. And we need people to do those investigations, but we also need people to be aware of these investigations and the reports that come out so they can look for them and potentially um, respond. You know, if it's something that they are very, um, they find very dear to their heart, um, they can, you know, call their newspaper and say, hey, I read this grand jury report, um, what are you going to do about it? You know, or they can call the entity that's being, um, uh, investigated and ask, you know, what are you going to do about it? follow up as a citizen? So I think it's very important for people to know about the civil grand jury. So with that, um, oh, oh, I also want to say we train the jurors. You know, a lot of people say, well, these are amateurs coming out of the public, and they, what do they know? Well, we actually do train them. At the state level, we train them for two, two and a half days um, about investigating, interviewing, writing reports. Um, what they can and cannot do according to the penal code. And we also train them at the local level about the city government um, and a little bit more about writing uh, reports and um, what is expected of them here on the city level. So they're not amateurs coming in. Uh, they are well trained and informed about what their duties are and what they can and cannot do. So thank you. <coughs> Keith? At this time, uh, I'd like to show you the product, the PSA. Uh, I haven't seen this yet. <laughs> California's founders understood the importance of citizen oversight of local government by writing into the state constitution the requirement that each county will convene a civil grand jury with the express purpose of investigating local government activity. Each year, your county court needs citizens just like you to serve as watchdogs over the government. The jury has enormous powers, and local government is required to provide information the jury needs to conduct its investigations. The resulting investigative reports can help improve how local government does its job. The reports also inform the public about the performance of their government. Serving on the civil grand jury is not only an experience you'll never forget, but you'll also learn an extraordinary amount about how your local government carries out its responsibilities. I encourage you, I encourage you to do your civic duty and hold your local government accountable by contacting the California Grand Jurors Association to learn more about your county's civil grand jury and how you can apply to serve. All right. Yeah. All right. I believe there are some uh, presentations to be made. Paul Henderson representing uh, Mayor Ed Lee's office. Yeah, oh, well thank you guys so much for having me here. It's actually uh, an honor to be in front of the civil grand jury. I actually grew up with a lot of familiarity uh, with the civil grand jury. I grew up here uh, fourth generation out here in the Bayview. 
and uh, my grandmother, uh, who raised me after she finished college. She went to school late. And after she finished college, she served on the civil grand jury. And she told us as we were growing up, like, well, you can't get to it till after you go to college. So I grew up thinking, like, oh, if I, if I do well in school, I can go to college, and then I can get to the civil grand jury. I don't know why. <laughs> and she carried the cards for the civil grand jury with her uh, in her purse, actually, until she passed. And it was one of the things that she was most proud of uh, for working in the city. And so uh, I've always paid special attention to what the civil grand jury did as like a magical entity uh, that served and uh, was committed to public service. Uh, unfortunately, I've always worked in public service myself, so I was never able to get to the civil grand jury, uh, but I'm intimately familiar with the work that they do, uh, and so we're all very grateful uh, for your work and contributions. Uh, so my name is Paul Henderson. Uh, I'm the Deputy Chief of Staff for our Mayor here uh, at Lee, uh, and we are here today, and I am here today, to present this Certificate of Honor uh, to the San Francisco Civil Grand Jury Association. Um, and so I have a certificate here that I'd like to present, uh, and thank you all so much thank for you. the work that you've been doing uh, and its contributions to the city. Uh, you know, people don't say it enough, but the work that you do actually does matter, and the work that you do, people pay attention to. Uh, it creates changes that ripple all throughout our local government. So I thank you all for your work, uh, and I look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and then Anna Damiani, representing State Senator Mark Lennon. Good morning, everyone. And I'm here, as Keith said, on behalf of State Senator Leno. And I just want to say how proud I am to be here because, um, you know, most of us seek ways to make government better. Or we usually, you know, we have something that we don't like about our government, our local government. We want to change things. We have a disagreement. But you're here, and you're actually doing something about it. You're taking your time. You're taking time out of your lives and putting energy into changing how government can serve the people of our county. And um, that's very <laughs> impressive. And um, I'm, for one, as a citizen of San Francisco, I'm very grateful to each and every one of you for doing that, um, for watching out for me, because that's what you are. Each and every one of you is watching out for me and for my well-being, um, as well as everyone else in the city. And at the, around the state, thanks to the California Civil Grand Jury Association, we have 58 groups that do the same and help people experience government at a higher level and have government work for them. So thanks to the California Civil Grand Jury Association uh, for doing that, for making that work for us. And on behalf of State Senator Leno, I have the privilege of presenting the Certificate of Recognition to the California Civil Grand Jury Association. And with our thanks and great appreciation. Thank you so much, Anna. Thank you. You know, as a, exalted a group as we may be, <laughs> uh, we cannot forget that this gathering is uh, primarily to recognize that we're all but citizens of this great state and that we all bear some responsibility for our own governance. And so regardless of our political leanings, we all want our government to be as responsive, as effective, and as efficient as it possibly can be. And that is the role of our nearly 1,100 volunteers who serve each year in the 58 counties in California. Um, I didn't give uh, the Lieutenant Governor an agenda on his way in, so uh, I don't mean to 
to pull a fast one on you, but would you like to say a few words yeah, about yeah. the uh, <laughs> product? Yeah. No, thanks. I'm, I'm in politics after all. <laughs> Thank you, Keith. You gotta, but I, I do want to thank all of you very much for, for being here. Thank you for your leadership and stewardship. Yeah, thanks so much for all your hard work. And Paul and Anna, thank you for, for taking the time to be here. Uh, unlike uh, the Office of Mayor and Senate uh, that has budgets for certificates of honor, the Lieutenant Governor's Office, unfortunately, does not would otherwise be presenting you a certificate of honor and appreciation. But I do want to just, you know, just pick up on the theme and pick up a little bit on what was uh, has been said already. You know, I think it was Justice Brandeis who, who said it better than anyone. He said, in a, in a democracy, the highest office is the office of citizen. And it's absolutely true. Uh, in the world we're living in, in many ways, is a world, and I don't, you know, Beata said something about amateurs, we're living in a world that I could probably best describe as an age of amateurs. And I say that in a very enlightened sense. Big is getting small, small is getting big. Hierarchy, as we know it, is dramatically evolving. You think about the institutions that have served us so well over the last half century. They are dramatically changing. You've seen it certainly in media. You've seen it uh, in the financial service industry now increasingly. Certainly seen it in the music industry. And you're going to see it in government. And you are a big participant in that dramatic evolution, or what I would argue this dramatic punctuation point in terms of the world we're living in. I don't think this is cyclical. I think something dramatic is taking shape here as it relates to particularly the impact that technology is having on the world we're living in. We're living in a fishbowl. The whole idea of holding back information and keeping that information for those elites, for those in power, those days are over. Age of amateurs, big is getting small, small is getting big. This democratization of voices, new contours, of a new society, truly, I think, is being shaped. And so you're a big part of that. And I hope the spirit of engagement, as it's always been with the civil grand juries across the state, is respected in that light. Uh, as a supervisor, I was a big champion of yours. As a mayor, I was a little more cautious because <laughs> well, I took things a little more personally in terms of new critiques. Um, but Increasingly, I hope people understand that the frame of a civil grand jury is not gotcha. Uh, it's not about uh, taking shots. It's not about exposing people uh, or systems uh, just for the purpose of an expose. It's about, as the spirit of what's been said, it's about improvement. It's about, uh, it's about transparency. It's about accountability. And ultimately, it's about trust. Uh, and I think that one thing we can all agree on uh, is trust in government is not where it needs to be. Uh, so in the spirit of trust, that spirit of openness, uh, in this fishbowl that we're living in, uh, in the spirit of the age of amateurs and citizenship, I'm grateful for your hard work and I'm grateful for your stewardship of our remarkable uh, democracy, uh, not only here in San Francisco, throughout the state and of course what you represent to the rest of the country. So thank you all very much. Okay. Um, thank you, Lieutenant Governor. Appreciate your presence and your message. Um, it's very important that we're recognized. You know, we, everybody always mixes it up with this, the criminal grand jury and it's nice to know somebody knows what the civil grand jury is. <laughs> thank you. Um, I do have a message from, of thanks from the president of the California Grand Jurors Association. Unfortunately, due to health reasons, I cannot attend the launch of the Grand Jury Public Service Announcement narrated by Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom. And since I cannot be here personally to thank you, I use this message to relay my appreciation and thanks as the president of the California Grand Jurors Association to all those involved in the creation, production, and ultimate distribution of the PSA. I hope you liked it, by the way, when you watched yeah, it. <laughs> I, I think you did a great job. It was great. <laughs> First and foremost, we thank the Lieutenant Governor, the star of the production, for lending his presence, prestige, uh, stature, and oratory to this project. Another special thank you goes to the San Francisco Chapter Media Committee Chair, Ken Maley, who, as scriptwriter, director, and producer, brought this idea to reality. 
We also acknowledge and thank the man behind the camera, Richard Barabal, and um, who edited and filmed the PSA. And finally, my thanks to my CGJA partner and our Vice President, Beata Boltinghouse, and to my colleague and predecessor, Keith North, for their leadership in moving the PSA to the fruition and launch today, and to all others that were involved. On behalf of the California Grand Jurors Association, I cannot emphasize strongly enough how this effort and the resulting product advance the preservation and the promotion of the grand jury institution which our constitutional forefathers thought so important to democracy in California. From William E. Troutman, President of the California Grand Jurors Association. So thank you. Well, finally, I want to uh, thank all of you for being here for this event and for helping to shine light on what I've begun to call California's best kept secret. <laughs> and so, uh, from the bottom of my heart, and on behalf of the California Grand Jurors Association, thank you for all your help in doing this. And uh, please, uh, on your way uh, out, uh, take advantage of some of the literature, the uh, uh, San Francisco uh, 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 Gazette from their uh, past jury is available, and uh, and other uh, brochures and information about the California Grand Jurors Association and the work we do. Our uh, support doesn't stop with just the preliminary training for grand juries. We provide resources throughout the year via our website. Uh, the, uh, the information's there in, in the uh, packets. Thanks again for being here. Thanks. Uh, I do want to just acknowledge uh, Ken Maley because you, you mentioned, or within the letter, it was Bill mentioned everything he did. Uh, he didn't mention that he picked me up, he drove me, called me ten times, made sure I was there. Uh, so I, I, I do want to express my appreciation Ken, to your hard work. You deserve a lot of credit. For, for your work. Thank you. Thanks.